Hello and welcome to the tutorial on comparing numbers. And in this tutorial, we're going to do numbers up to 100. And we're going to use the number grid. Now, first, as we always do, let's write down the three symbols that we typically use to compare numbers. We've got this symbol here. That means less than. We have the equals and greater than. So those are the three symbols. So let's begin with our first example. Now let's suppose we have these two numbers. We've got 64 and we've got 59. 64 and 59. Now I'm sure some of you will be able to work out very quickly which symbol goes between them. But for the purposes of this exercise, let's have a look at the number grid and how we use it. So let's go to the number grid. There it is. The number grid is simply a grid with numbers. It can start at any number and end at any number. This number grid starts at 1 and ends at 100. A bit like snakes and ladders. You start from number 1 and you finish at 100. 1 is the smallest, 100 is the largest. Now, for our question, I want you to find number 64 on the number grid. Can you find 64? It's over here. Now I want you to find number 59. 59 is over here. Which number comes first? When you start from 1, go all the way across, which number comes first? 64 or 59. That's right, 59 comes first. So the symbol we have to put here is this one here. And the way this reads now is 64 is greater than 59. In fact, let's write that down. 64 is greater than 59. You can say greater than, you can say more than, it means the same thing. 64 is greater than 59. And don't forget, we always do a final check just to make sure we got it right. Which way is the arrow pointing? It's pointing to 59. So it's pointing to the smaller number. So that is correct. Let's have a look at one more example. Now let's suppose you have the number 76 and the number 82. So you've got 76 and 82. So which of the symbols goes between these two numbers and for it to make sense? Now again, we're going to look at the number grid. Now the same method as before, I want you to start and find the first number, 76. Put your finger on number 76. Now, I want you to find number 82. You found it? Good. Now, if you were starting at number 1, and you're going all the way across to 10, and then starting at 11, and keep going, keep going, which number comes first? Is it 76, or is it 82? That's right, it is 76. So 76 is the smaller number, so the arrow is now pointing this way. In fact, we can write it down as well. We can say here, the way this reads now is that 76 is smaller than 82. Or you can say it the other way around. You can say 82 is 
greater than 76. It means the same thing. And always make sure as a final check, we just see which way the arrow is pointing. Is it pointing the right way? It's pointing to the smaller number. Well, 76 came first on our grid. So 76 is the smaller number. So that is how we compare numbers up to 100 using the number grid.